good afternoon everyone i am mohan ram working as a lecturer in gpt coimbatore today i will present a topic about compounding of turbines so we all know that turbine is a rotary device it is used in thermal power plants and hydraulic power plants for energy purpose to gain the energy so it is a rotary device which converts the mechanical rotational energy into electrical energy by with the help of a generator so why this compounding is done is done in turbine what is compounding and why it is done in turbine so compounding is generally done to reduce the turbine speed so by increasing the number of set of stages in the turbine we can reduce the turbine speed so compounding is generally done to reduce the turbine speed so why it is a need to compound in the turbine so why we need to do compounding in the turbine so in a single stage normal turbine uh, with the exit velocity and the pressure it is very high at the exit the velocity and the pressure is high at the exit which means an energy loss occurs at the exit so in order to overcome the energy loss we need to compound the turbine so that loss is here said as carry over loss so when a pressure and velocity leaves out without utilizing it is a loss so in order to compensate that the compounding is done in the turbine so we can further see types of compounding so we have three types the first one is velocity compounding so we can understand velocity compounding with this simple diagram so velocity in velocity compounding the stage consists of a set of nozzle at the entry followed by set of moving blades and then set of fixed blades and again a set of moving blades so in this set is in this the stage is constructed so that the steam flows from left to right that is first it enters the nozzle and then it passes over the moving blade and then to the fixed blade and finally to the moving blade in this <clears throat> the set of stages the steam flows so the below that the velocity and pressure has shown so the blue line shows the velocity so in nozzle the velocity increases and the pressure decreases so we all know the function of the nozzle velocity increases in the nozzle and pressure decreases in the nozzle and then moving on to the moving blade the steam enters the moving blade once it enters the moving blade <clears throat> the moving blade have to rotate in order to make the rotational energy possible so uh, so it absorbs energy from the high velocity steam so once the velocity is at its peak at the entry of the moving blade so the velocity that is the kinetic energy gets carried away by the moving blade so the velocity gets decreased in the moving blade whereas pressure remains constant in the moving blade and then moving on the steam next moves to the fixed blade in the fixed blade the velocity remains constant and the pressure remains constant so there is no change in velocity and pressure in the fixed blade and then the steam flows to the next set of moving blade so in the moving blade the velocity decreases and the pressure remains constant so what has to be noted is the velocity decreases at the every set of moving blades so the velocity gets compounded throughout the stage of the turbine so it is known as velocity compounding <coughs> so velocity is reduced in each stage in the moving blade so next the pressure compounding so in pressure compounding so in the pressure compounding it consists of set of nozzle and then followed by set of moving blades and then again a set of nozzle moving blade nozzle moving blade so in this Uh, multiple stage of blades are mounted so in this uh, also the steam flows from left to right so once it enters nozzle and then moving blade and then nozzle and then uh, again set of moving blades 
so the velocity increases in the nozzle and decreases in the moving blade so that the line velocity blue line increases and then decreases and then increases and then decreases it repeats continuously so and also the pressure drops in the nozzle nozzle the pressure drops and then in the moving blade the pressure remains constant so this cycle repeats at the every stage of blades okay so here it is to be noted that if, uh, at every time it enters the nozzle the steam enters the nozzle the pressure gets decreased gradually at the end of the stage so it is known as the pressure compounding you can see the line red line it decreases gradually at the every set of the stage so the pressure is compounded in this type okay so the pressure is reduced in each stage of nozzle rings and hence this is called pressure compounding so next we can see about pressure velocity compounding so na the name suggests the pressure and the velocity both gets compounded which means decreased at the stages of the turbine so here it is shown as two sets which means two stages in the first stage the nozzle moving blade fixed blade and then moving blade are mounted the same stage repeats next it consists of set of nozzle moving blade fixed blade and then moving blade so <coughs> here we can see that uh, we can first see about the velocity graph so once the steam enters the nozzle the velocity gets increased and then it gets decreased which means the kinetic energy gets consumed in the moving blade and then it keeps rotating further so after consuming it gets enters to the fixed blade or guide blade the guide blade guides the steam to the moving blade so there is no change in velocity and pressure in the fixed blade and then the it goes to the moving blade where the velocity decreases further so at the end of the stage the velocity goes to the bottom point the pressure also decreases and then moving on to the second stage uh, as the velocity at is at its bottom it needs to be increased to further gain the kinetic energy so another set of nozzle is given on the second stage where the velocity gets increased to the peak and then the increased velocity is utilized by the further moving blades so the process continues so you can see that the second point velocity compounding is done by using guide vanes so here we can see that the remaining reduction of pressure up to the condenser pressure takes place in the second set of nozzles okay and the process of doing work on two set of moving blades and a guide blade is continued so as we can see that the pressure also re reduces at the end of the stage and the velocity also reduces at the end of the stage we can say that it is a pressure velocity compounding so as we so before making a presentation um, please be ready with the content make sure the topic is relevant and uh, it, you are strong in the topic uh, and then prepare the slide while preparing the slide or presentation make sure the points are precise and short you have to explain briefly through the speech rather than uh, by providing paragraphs in the presentation you should not uh, uh, give large amount of content in the slide the content has to be precise okay next one is the body language uh, so you have to be confident while speaking uh, so you have to practice a lot before presenting the topic so practice uh, leads to confidence and also you have to um, speak three to four times practice three to four times to gain the fluency while presenting so all this practice leads to a good presentation thank you